hello everybody i just thought i'd let you know what i've been up to um i've done one of these um i haven't totally finished it yet fabric journals um well i got um it's not the tim holtz one i just done you know similar to how i done my fabric journal last year or the year before um i've done it similar to that so yeah it's okay it was i found it quite quite difficult to do with the paper because fabric is quite easy to sew but i did manage it but you know i wanted it all rough looking anyway because i thought well that's going to match the stitching if i go wrong or you know like right there <laughs> but i thought well if i carry on with that theme it, it's okay you know and leave all these and that sort of thing so i but it's all made out of envelopes yeah it's all envelopes so even that that there is a base of an envelope just cut shorter or it's a skinny envelope i can't remember now um yeah so i've, I've had a lot of fun doing that i haven't got a closure for it or anything yet and i need to make some more tags so i thought i'd show you it and i've done some of this on the sewing machine so you can see all my stitching behind it there and i wanted to leave all that because i thought it just you know adds to it myself and this needs brightening up with some glitter and stuff i think and this is the sheets of glitter that i do um like this it's just tissue paper on your plastic with glue oh gosh sorry oh. <laughs> so i just ordered a new phone here we go and just all the messages saying that it's on its way and blah 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 anyway sorry about that folks yeah just um you know what i done what did i do oh the tissue you just put a load of glue on then you put your tissue paper on then you put a load of glue on the top and then you sprinkle glitter so i sprinkled glitter on that one i done the mica tim holtz mica powder on this one here i don't think this was quite dry actually this one it's like plastic but but it's really great to cut or to use. I shouldn't have folded it over. Put some cornstarch on there. It's a bit sticky, that one. Yeah. So that's all mica powder on that one. And there's the white one there with mica powder and glitter. Okay, I use those a lot. With Christmas, I just... It's really funny because years ago I never had any fancy papers or anything, so we used to make those, and I still like making them. So uh, it's an excuse to get the glitter out and that. So I've got it behind there, and it's great for snow scenes if you want it, and or to brighten up a little dull area. This just needs brightening up even more. So, like I say, I've only just stuck that on, so I wasn't sure yet on where I'm going with that, and oh, I just just um put some alcohol ink on that because it was silver i don't want silver uh, there's a pocket there just a frame a die cut there you know and i put lace behind not lace like um gold what do you call it net isn't it that sort of stuff there and that was one of the tags i made recently and i've actually stuck that on the page there and then I thought it would look nice with a dangle there. This one is one of the the mini tags when I shrunk it down. So they come a lot bigger than that, but I've done two to a page, so I've done mini ones. And then th this one was one of the, I think this is a freebie, or there's some freebies similar to that, I'm sure. It's just that I'm using up all my bits I have printed. Yeah. And I wanted to make one of those and because I shrunk them down. And I clip that in at the moment. So and this is an um, envelope. And I lined lined that envelope and then done it so we can tuck that in there. And then on the back of that, done a little double pocket. And then another frame with some snow paper, which is don't please don't ask where we get this because my sister had some for years and we i think we've all had a bit <laughs> me tina and a few others 
and there's not much left i've got a little bit more left but i haven't found it since sorry that's that's not i haven't been bleeding that's red ink from doing that <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so that's that And that's from one of the kits, which I sort of shrunk that down, I think. And then, or it's one of the journaling cards. And then that's one of the elements on one of the kits. Can't tell you which one. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, there's another frame there. And then, oh, oh. put it there. Use that snow paper again. And I've glued stuck that one down as well it's a bit bit like um like an inspiration book you know you used to get the tag books didn't you years ago oh and there's a pocket there so I need something in there and a big pocket here yeah this i haven't done yet that's two vellum pockets there and that's some of that paper i was talking about And again, another pocket there, another, um, oh gosh, what's her name? Yeah, I think, I'm not sure whether I showed it or not, but, yeah, Anna Griffin. Oh, oh dear, it's terrible. That's Tim Holtz, that one. There's there. And then, oh, that's one of my envelopes I've done last year, which I found it in the journal I'm going to show you next. So, and I thought, oh, no, that fits in there, and I think that looks nice. So, what was that one of those? And there's a tutorial on those. I thought, oh, I must do some more if I forget how I've done them. <laughs> no, I've got the video. That's a, actually, it's really handy doing videos because I do forget how, not how to do things, but what I've done. And having the video there, I can just look back because I really like that one. And then this one's um, just a gassine bag there. And then this one has got tucked behind it, but still all stitched on. I say every page is, these are all envelopes, all of them. Yeah. And like I say, I've got some opened this side, some opened at the top. And then there's one there. Okay. And then this one, I'm going to have to find how to, you know, close it. Because I'm using this on the front, not here. So I will most probably put something that can, you know, or even a paper clip with something on that will keep that da down. And then another pocket there. And then another pocket there with the snow paper. And then that is the back. I'm not saying it needs a closure as well. It's not too springy, but by the time I finished it, it will be. But yeah, that's my little journal for this year. I have to make one. And I'll be making some, I think I might try a TN next. And I thought I'd do a nice dangle on there. So that sort of cascades down over that. So it looks Okay. Yeah, I do find that, you know, they do get a little bit of play. Not much, but it will get a little, a little bit. But it is only a soft cover, so expected, I think. Right, now, um, some of you would have seen this one because I started it last year. It was, um, I said it was going to be an art journal. A few little marks on here. But I um, I will be doing this as a giveaway. I'm not sure what video it will be on. It will be one of the videos that I do when I make something for it. I'm not sure which one yet. So just keep watching the space. It's just that so I can, if I advertise a giveaway, then you get people that actually, you know, just do giveaways just to win things. And I just... I, I would, look, you know, do want it to go to somebody that actually would love it, you know, because there's some of my own artwork in this. So I'm, I will be doing it as a giveaway, but I'm going to do a bit more work in it. So whatever I do, you know, for the next few weeks, 
I shall be adding bits and pieces to it. A lot have been done, but there's still a lot, you know, I'm going to leave. So, yeah, um, there's a couple of things like that. I'm not sure, actually, that looks really nice there. Um, sort of my, that people have given me. If I find that there's things in here that people have given me, then I have to replace them. Because, you know, they're, they're sort of special to me, really. So, yeah, uh, that's where I drew some things. <laughs> I don't know why, because it was going to be like an art journal. So I drew a tree there. <laughs> so I'm going to work a bit more on it first. And it's totally random pages. There's loads of tags. There's loads of envelopes. All from what we've done last year. But I know somebody, you know, will most probably love journaling in here. So that's one of the envelopes. And again, some gel, um, sort of background paper. It's not gel print so much. And there. It's all odd bits of paper. That's, I've done that last year. There's a collage work. And that's, I haven't figured out, you know, that's going to go there actually. Yeah, that's like a little tuck spot there. And then we've got a space there for something. Yeah. Center of the signature. There's another envelope here, massive one that is. But it looks lovely, I love that. It looks totally random in here, it really is. Yeah, and I do want to make another of these because I, I just get a load of papers together and put it together. So, you know. This one, I'll finish working. Well, I'm not going to totally finish it because, I, you know, I want the person who, who gets it to work on it as well. But it'll be incorporated, some of my work. And then, because I think it'll look nice if they do their December daily in, in, next year, really. Well, there's a face I drew look on that one. So, I've got a signature there. There's another one ready to be stuck in. It's just wrapping paper. It's a belly band now. There's another envelope that I've done last year. Yeah. Well, this won't be staying because my sister gave me that, so I want to keep that. I love it. I should do some, shouldn't I? It's only a little trailer. Little tr mitten tree and a snowman i think i could draw that snowman don't you <laughs> and then yeah and then it's another tag there some of the collage work i done last year that's a little flip there and i don't know what that is is it that's just oh no there is a pocket there and that's the end of it. I don't know. Um, envelope. But I do things like that. I quite like that. <laughs> this I didn't know what to do with. So I thought it would be nice for a backdrop. But I needed to put it in there. Because it was so beautiful. So just then the texture. It's just like velvet. And I just thought that really looked lovely together. All right. I don't think we've done much from now on. So... So what I might do is work from the back forward. Do something like that. Just to fill in a bit of this area. Oh, another drawing. <laughs> actually, I most probably really hated that last year. And it was actually not bad. <laughs> that, is that a stamp? No, I think I drew it. I can't remember. I did draw it. I don't know. Anyway, 
some gold paper, some scrapbooking papers, a CD case that I think that was gifted to me. So I'm, that might disappear, but I might replace it with one I've done. Envelope there. I say, not much done here. Oh, another drawing. Oh, that wasn't too bad either. Yeah, I think I was, the, um, what I'd used on here, I need to go over with acrylic paint because this, it, it was picking up the pink. So I will touch that up. This worked okay, but that one didn't. Not with that red. It kept bleeding into the white. So I need to do it with acrylic. It's actually quite nice. Might have to take a picture of that before I um, give it away. <laughs> What's that? And it's gel prints from, gosh, most probably eight years ago. And let's just put in there for now. I was going to use that because of the tone of it. Another one of those, and there's always an envelope there. I thought that might go there. There's a big envelope there, and a massive one back here. Yeah. Massive pocket. Yeah, okay. So we shall have fun. It's a big one. It's about nine inches tall, this one, because that's why I used um, scrapbook papers on this. Might even be bigger than that. Let's have a look. Yeah, oh, that's no, nine inches. Yep. Yeah. Um, we will be doing something to the front as well once it's done. But do you know that feels really nice in your hand? So I'm going to say, I won't finish it. I'll just work on it a little bit more just to add a bit more interest through the back signatures. So I think there's five signatures. Yeah. And then we'll also make uh, another one. I think I'll do another one in junk in the trunk, I think. And then that will do for next year. Because I do like to have something to look at from this year for next year, if you know what I mean. So I've got this one as well, but never know, that might go somewhere yet. <laughs> I never know. <laughs> and we shall see. So again, thank you very much for watching. And I just thought I would come in and just let you know what's happening and what I've been doing. I've just felt this week a little bit, I don't know whether it's been because of your elections and lockdown. Um, I just felt as though, you know, I needed a little bit to craft on my own, if you know what I mean. Because sometimes I have to do that to get into Christmas as well, because I I was struggling at the beginning. Um, so it's, it's, you know, I'm getting there now. So just doing a little journal, you know, or some tags or something like that really helps me to to start you know in the process of christmas so a lot more be coming once i get into it i mean it was the same as um bringing out a digital kit i haven't done a new one this year because i just i keep doing pages and things and i think oh I don't, do i like that i'm not sure very similar to one i've already done so you know I, it's been a bit like that this year that's why i brought out some um, the tags that, you know, and the journaling cards, the stackables rather, and some ephemera. Because I thought, I've got to do something for Christmas, but, you know, pages and that weren't coming. And I quite fancy doing like a water, real watercolour one, um, but it's going to look quite modern, but that would be quite nice to do that. But all the stuff I've got to go, to go with Christmas is you know, very traditional, to be honest, because it's I've collected it for years. So I didn't want to go buying things, if you know what I mean. I, want, I really need to use up, you know, the Christmas bits I've got rather than purchase anything. So anyway, we'll go from there and we'll see what happens. So thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Bye for now.